The hurricane is speeding toward the Gulf Coast at an alarming pace. Reports indicate it could be a Category 4 by nightfall. Where's the hurricane going to land and what critical infrastructure may be affected? In the past, federal, state, and local government officials had to cross-reference numerous sources and an array of maps to analyze, prepare, and respond to natural and man-made disasters. Now, a Department of Homeland Security tool provides comprehensive situational awareness in one central location. The Infrastructure Information Collection Division's Integrated Common Analytical Viewer, or ICAV, is available online to authorized users and gives planners and responders the ability to view critical infrastructure information in a map form. As they've always said, a picture is worth a thousand words. ICAV gives you that picture. You can manipulate it to the way that you want in order to get across your point that you may be trying to portray. This perspective provides a broader and common operating picture of a pending crisis or situation, its impact on an individual asset, and how each individual critical infrastructure asset is interlinked with one another. It's important as an emergency responder from local all the way back up to the high-ranking officials to be aware of the critical infrastructure in and around your area, not just be focused on that particular venue or that particular site, but also be aware of what's in the neighborhood. For example, if you have a power plant, do you have any kind of chemical or some kind of combustible material right down the road that, hey, if this thing goes up, is this stockpile going to go up with it? And ICAV is a way to actually visually see that and also find out what is in your area if you already didn't know. ICAV is an instrumental tool in planning, preparation, response and recovery, as well as sharing information with various decision makers at all levels of government. ICAV enables timely decisions by offering a visual perspective that is fueled by information from a multitude of sources. Inside ICAV, users have access to data on critical infrastructure and key resource sectors, incident and tracking reports, as well as up-to-date weather-related information. So what ICAV enab enables to do is look at that from different perspectives and, and through layering of the infrastructure and the other tools that are provided and actually to use some of those tools to actually do some different looking at ranges, looking at distance and layering other type of infrastructure across the, uh, the platform. In a situation like a hurricane, ICAV allows Homeland Security officials and responders to effectively assign locations for responders and supplies, examine evacuation routes and alternative paths, and identify potential impact of power outages. It does so by using a couple of viewing options depending on an individual's needs and preferences. 2D representation assists with analytical purposes, while the 3D viewer offers a topographical layout. Both enhance decision making by reducing the time between understanding and action, and both can be tailored to specific needs. ICAV provides a lot of, a lot of capability. Uh, you know, through, through a geospatial type platform, you're able to layer a lot of different data, and I can look at that in a, in a map format, or I can look at that in an aerial format. So it gives me a, a good situation awareness. The way ICAV makes a geospatial analyst's life easier is that the majority of the work is done for you. I don't have to sit there and basically go and spend a good amount of time looking for data. The data is already there and that is a huge benefit to any geospatial analyst. The combination of quality, real-time data presented in a visual manner allows ICAV users greater situational awareness, the ability to focus personnel and resources effectively, all of which reduce response time when seconds matter.